Hello everyone, welcome to Edutab and also welcome to the Government Scheme session. The scheme that we are covering today, it was recently launched during the budget session of 2023-24 and that is why we are going to study about Pradhan Mantri PVTG Development Mission. What is this PVTG? So basically this talks about the, uh, uh, the, the particularly vulnerable tribal group. What is it and what are the dimensions that you need to remember from the examination point of view? Everything we are going to cover. But before starting, here is an announcement for all the aspirants who are preparing for Central regula Regulatory Body, be it RBI and or SEBI, we have come up with one stop solution guide to, for all the queries that you might be having regarding the organization, be it RBI, be it na, about the NABARD organization, or even if you want to know about what SEBI actually do. And along with that, how does all these organizations contribute uh, to, uh, to our economy? What are the different departments? What will be your role once you join the organization? Everything has been comprehensively mentioned. After that, about the recruitment uh, process, what are the different phases? What are the, what is the pattern of each and every phase, what are the syllabus of different phases, what is the previous year cut off, everything, any question that you must be having in your mind, everything has been explained in these e-guidebooks and I must tell you that these e-guidebooks are free of cost, so do not miss this opportunity and you can download these e-guidebooks from the link that is present in the description box below. Now, see, uh, this scheme was recently launched, of course it becomes important, right, because any scheme that has been recently launched or was in news, it becomes important from the examination point of view. But apart from that, we have to look at the syllabus of economic and social issues. See, you have to comprehensively cover the syllabus uh, before appearing uh, for the examination, right? In that, if you look at this particular section, which is of social justice, so this talks about uh, the groups in the society that were neglected for long or uh, to uplift them, to have the equality among the society. So that is why uh, the government, they, they run various programs, okay? And one of this uh, that we are going to discuss today, it is about Pradhan Mantri PVTG, that is your particularly vulnerable tribal group development mission to be launched and this uh, news we are talking about February 2023 right uh, during the budget session uh, to be launched with an outlay of rupees 15,000 crore okay so this was the news and this was recently launched so what are the important things that we need to cover uh, we will look at in this particular lecture but before starting with the uh, the dimensions that we need to understand here is what first we have to understand what is a particularly vulnerable tribal group okay so we know we know there are various tribes that are present in india right there are various tribal groups that are present in india but what happened and government yes government uh, actually since 1975 if we talk about even or even before that also, government has been focusing on on uh, bringing these tribes to the mainstream society, right? But what happened, some of the tribes, they, they got the recognition and they were included in the society. But some were still there which were, uh, which could not be given uh, much of the attention. And because of that, they, they could not, uh, the, the, their development did not occur, okay? So such tribes, which if we talk about, so in this tribal region also, or in the, among the tribes also, the one which is the most bad backward tribe okay which, which is the most backward tribe that is known as what that is known as particularly vulnerable tribal group okay let's understand again so we know tribes and we know that if we talk about in general in society we know that tribal people they are backward right now among those tribal people also because it does not uh, for example if you belong to a certain region certain state but still there is categorization for example if i talk about in uttarakhand we have gadwalis we have kumaunis we have jonsaris right so within us also there is categorization right or maybe in hindu also then there are different categorizations so similarly it's not like that if there's a tribe so they all belong to one community only there are different community there are different types of tribes that exist okay so when government they started focusing on tribes so some of them got benefit and they were included to mainstream but still there were some tribes left which were uh, which you can say they were the backward of the tribes not in terms of the status but yes who could not get the benefit from the uh, from the government okay so those backward tribes then were named as particularly vulnerable tribal group and under this mission so what will be done under this mission tribal groups all the tribal groups will not get benefit they were not being looked uh, looked after only the tribes which are which could not get the benefit uh, benefits earlier which is actually a particularly vulnerable tribal group only those section will be included and on what basis do we say that these are particularly uh, vulnerable uh, tribal groups? First of all, such group, it depends on hunting for food. So we can look at that how they are still, uh, they are living in the primitive, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, uh, in a 
primitive way that we that the humans used to live before so they are still dependent on hunting for food have pre agriculture level technologies what does it mean so for example they use stones they use spears for for uh, for hunting or for gathering food so they still using the pre agriculture level technologies zero negative population growth what does it mean it means that because this population is was uh, following their traditional ways so they are not able to adapt to the new situations that are uh, that are developing in the society and because of this reason their growth if we talk about the community so that community is not growing either it is static or or it is declining so means the the population of these tribal groups they are declining and we have to save that extremely low level of literacy okay so literacy rate is low if you talk about uh, women uh, if, uh, women health uh, during pregnancy if you talk about the infant mortality ratio everything it is high it means uh, the, uh, the condition of these groups they they are still not good as compared to the uh, the benefits that other people are getting in the society and in fact some tribes are also getting in the society okay so that is why this for for these groups for such groups in 1973 there was a dhaver commission that was set up and they they recommended that that a particular they should be given a name uh, a particular designation such backward class in the tribal society so that government can can uh, take care of them and can have their focus on them okay so uh, in 1973 the amir commission they ca came up with this recommendation and 1975 government they they named them as they named that them as initially primitive tribal group okay so initially when the the categorization of these groups were backward groups backward tribes were uh, happened at that time the name was primitive tribal group but then in 2006 the name from primitive tribal group was changed to what it was changed to uh, it was changed to your particularly particularly vulnerable tribal group so i i just observed that i have not mentioned the full form here anywhere in this so what i'll do when i'll give you the pdf there i'll i'll mention the full form of pvtg also so that you have a clarity okay uh, then this if we talk about the current data so if we look at the census of 2011 so there are currently 75 pvtg that are present in india and maximum of them are present present in the odisha state okay so this was the in general information uh, and yes this particular mission that has been launched it has been launched under reaching the last mile uh, category which is under saptarishi 7 now what is this saptarishi so sapt means 7 so basically uh, uh, in the budget uh, under the amrit kal government they have uh, they have set their seven priorities so sapt in hindi in english it means 7 so seven priorities the government has set up that is inclusive development reaching the last mile youth power financial sector green uh, growth unleashing the potential that we already have but we have to just unleash it uh, leash it and uh, infrastructure and in investment these are the seven priorities and under the reaching the last mile so basically if you look at uh, these are the you know in the backward group are also they are the most backward one so actually we want to just uh, give them all the facility which other people are having so we are providing these facility to the last mile be, me, uh, means to such section of the society which is very backward so under this reaching the last mile uh, component uh, this particular mission has been launched i hope this is clear now there's nothing left there's a very short scheme so the launch year of this is 2023 see there was a program that was already going on it was it was started in 2008 it name was development of pvtg uh, okay uh, the name so basically there was a scheme in 2008 that was launched by the particular ministry only ministry of tribal affairs and they came up with development of pvtg now that's a Uh, that is something different and uh, the government in 2023 under the last mile connectivity component they came up with this pm pvtg development mission and they allocated certain budget also okay and uh, if we talk about the ministry so there is no specific ministry that would take care of it basically this will be a uh, you can say uh, various ministry they will come together to serve the purpose why because here the aim is to improve the socio economic conditions of pvtg okay so the aim is uh, is to improve the socio economic condition and currently this scheme has been launched for 3 years this uh, this uh, these years can increase depending on the situation we'll look at after 3 years but currently it has been launched for 3 years and the budget that has been allocated it is 15000 crore for 3 years okay so for 3 years 15000 crore has been given to develop the socio economic conditions of pvtg okay 
key features if we talk about so in this basically the the basic facilities it will be provided to the group and what are these basic facilities to so safe housing because see these are the people who who follow shifting cultivation who move from one place to another so for them a proper house a proper area to live safe safe housing will be provided clean drinking water and sanitation for their health purpose okay improved access to education so that they can uh, get education road and telecom connectivity will be provided to them so that they can actually connect to the outside world currently we can say outside world because they are kind of very primitive early they are living and health and nutrition will also be taken care of because here we are talking about the mother mortality rate the infant mortality rate these have these are also uh, this has also increased a lot in this particular group and uh, because we have facility we can provide it to them and save lives and and to also uh, to grow their community which is currently either zero or declining uh, the population is either zero or declining that we have studied right so these are the basic facilities so now if you look at that if you are providing these facility so we know that there will be different ministries that will will be involved right because we are targeting different socio economic uh, conditions we are providing with them different facilities so what can be the possible ministries okay and yes one more thing is sustainable livelihood opportunities because currently uh, they sell the forest produce and they don't get much rate for it so basically to provide them with sustainable livelihood opportunities so that they can earn well to live a better livelihood or they can have a better life okay so what can be the ministries that will be involved so ministry of rural development right uh, to to have them a proper specific place to live and to develop that area so ministry of rural development apart from that ministry of water resources we because we were talking about drinking water and sanitation right then ministry of education uh, for the education purpose so what does it mean so you have to keep in mind that whatever schemes that are running under this those will be channelized uh, and or you can say that these group will be come uh, they will be uh, they will be attracted or they will be put to such schemes uh, such category so that they can get the benefit ministry of health and family welfare of course we are talking about women child nutrition health right and also ministry of women and child development specifically uh, to take care of their health okay so all these uh, ministries will be involved for the mission and that is all about this particular scheme so nothing much so few things that you can remember the budget outlay you can remember right and what is what are the pvtg so that, that is i have also given a basic background information if question can come from that so this is all and as a homework for you uh, please uh, attend it and these are the toppers of the last session sainam said the right answer impana said the right answer tarun said the right answer with the correct explanation rishab said the right answer then gorav uh, said the right answer and yes i have taken your suggestion rushi said the right answer other from that we have some suggestion as well please make a video on list of current reports that covered navard uh, see i'll i'll what i'll do i'll pass on this message to the respective faculty because this session which i am conducting that is specifically for schemes right but i'll i'll, I'll convey to the team so that they can make a strategy session on that and uh, sumit uh, i think your doubts are cleared i have replied to you that in the video also i mentioned that only that it is 2017 and 2014 is not in 2014 the central sector component was changed to center sponsored component okay i hope that's clear and tarun yes okay i have taken your uh, i have taken your suggestion i'll definitely make a video in the future uh, so if you like the video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and you can also join our telegram channel to get the pdf of this and every lecture that we provide here on youtube and that is all so if you have any any scheme for suggestion you can always write it down even this scheme was suggested by one of you guys so that is what i say please Uh, please give me suggestion it might happen that your the suggestion that you have given it might take time because there is there are a lo lot of suggestion that comes but i'll definitely make a video